Hey, welcome back to the video guys. Shaggy Doo here today. Uh, coming at you with some sneak today, as you can see. Over here we got Sneak the Mono Chrome Shaker. Um, I've been purchasing quite a bit of this stuff lately. Um, I've had the tester packs and I've got the tubs right here. As you can see, we've got the Stealth. Recently just bought the Cherry Bomb. Um, to give that a whirl, I took a bit of a risk on this one. Um, my personal favourite at the moment, Blue Raspberry. Now, before I did order the Blue Raspberry and the Stealth, um, I used to think the Stealth was really, really nice, and it it is. <laughs> Blue Raspberry, though, is much better. Um, I recently got a tester pack, which you can order for like 10 quid, and you get this shaker. I've already filled it up with water. Comes with this, obviously a lid. This just pops in the top, stop any ice coming out. Now with, with the shaker, you get to choose five different flavors and they come in these little sachets. You can see I've got Tropicilla here, uh, Purple Storm and Sour Apple. Took a risk on the Sour Apple, I must say. It's amazing, it tastes fantastic. It's probably my new favorite, and it's one that I'm probably gonna be ordering next time I get the tubs. So if we look coming in the left, like I said, tester pack, five versions is 10 quid. Uh, if you order two of them, um, you can put a code in, um, which gives you 10 pan off. It's on the site, so you know, it's not something that's uh, exclusive or anything. Um, but it's good stuff, Sneak, it's good stuff. Um, I got this shaker last time. It's got a cute little runny, runny rabbit on it. Which is nice. Um, so basically we're gonna try, we're gonna try it. We'll try Purple Storm today, let's go for it. So, actually no, let's try the cherry. I haven't tried the cherry yet. Let's do this, uh, let's do this live. Let's go for it. Uh, nice lid, keeps nice and fresh. Comes in a, a powdery form. You can see, so it's tub. So it's really good value. It's about 88p, something like that, um, per serving. Which, when you can compare it to stuff like Monster and um, Red Bull. And that sort of thing. Pretty good value. So you get a little measurer. Sometimes it's hidden now. When I first got it, it was hidden right at the bottom, and I was like, oh, I've got no measurer, no, 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 no spoon or anything to put it in. And then, of course, as they start taking more out, I was like, what is this hard lump in here? Yeah, turns out there is one. They just buried it. So. Just leveling it off to the top, whacking it in, pour it in, lids going on, in the new shaker. And that's it guys, that's all there is to this stuff. Now I've recently, I purchased uh, now in a you energy drinks because I thought I'd get something that was natural in it and I've got to admit that stuff is rank it's horrible like a lot of people say sneak you know it tastes a bit artificial yeah it probably does it is it's more custom to a sweetener in there but it's a damn good sweetener damn good sweetener and it tastes amazing I mean there's no sugar in it um, we look here on the back of the tub here the ingredients are as follows and I apologize for my pronouncing right away uh, L tyrosine obviously caffeine uh, L thinine caline bitterate L Carnite, I mean, there's just loads of this stuff calcium, D, 
uh, sneak hydrate, uh, magnesium, potassium, chloride, uh, phosphate, sneak drive, uh, vitamin B6, uh, thiamine, folic acid, hmm. vitamin B12, uh, malodexidin, uh, malic acid, natural flavors, uh, so, like I said, sweeteners, um, and silicon dioxide. But anyway, there's a load of vitamins and bits and bobs in there. Um, there's no fat in this, as I've said. Um, and on the back of the box, um, again, 150 mg of caffeine. Um, the, and again, apologize for pronouncing it, the tyrosine is 1,500 milligrams. The phenine is 100. The bitter rate is 100. Tyrate is 100. Um, that is all, it's all on the back of the box and it's on the website, but I'm not here to um, promote what vitamins and all this are in it. I mean, I know it's got a load of vitamins in it. Um, I'm not sure if the camera will focus on that, but hey ho. But the main focus of Sneak Energy Drink for me was I used to be a baker, so I used to do a lot of, um, a lot of shift work, a lot of nights. Used to drink a lot of caffeine, a lot of coffee, a lot of Monster, all that good stuff. Um, recently stopped um, being a baker, that is. Um, obviously, doing gaming a lot more, I want something that was going to give me a little bit of an edge, a little bit more of a focus. Um, so I looked into getting these products. Now, obviously, the obvious ones are G Fuel, Fuel um, and those sort of ones. Some of them, obviously, you can only get from... United States and I was not paying post and packaging, um, especially here in the UK. Um, so I needed to find something in the UK that tasted good and I thought did the job. And Sneak's doing it. Sneak's really good. Uh, like I said, I've ordered another two tubs now and I ordered two previously. So that should show testament to how good Sneak is. I love this stuff. It's really, really good. Really tasty. Zero sugar. It's good for work, gives me a little bit of a bounce. I was not particularly very good the other day. Uh, literally still awake at like 3 a.m. Had to get up for work for five. Um, and I was rancid that morning. It does take a good hour or so when you're absolutely rancid for it to kick in. Um, especially if you don't drink it in one go, because I tend to sip it when I'm at work. Um, and you do feel it, it does give it to you. Um, it is meant to give you a mental focus, which is the aim of it. There are tests out there, etc., to speed up your reaction time, etc., etc. But let's try this cherry bomb. Here it goes. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. What's that? Oh, what is that compared to? Hmm. Mmm, cherry's nice. Yeah, liking cherry. Cherry apple and blueberry, probably my favourites. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> it's very, very good. Um, obviously, on their website, they do a load of stuff. A load of merch here. Obviously, I'm scrolling through, which is quite cool. Nice t shirts and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's good stuff, guys. If you like it, by the way, this video is not sponsored. I'm literally just a guy reviewing sneak um because i've had it for long enough now that i think i can judge it and it's fantastic stuff like i said um some people in the clan are drinking it as well which is great um and yeah it will give you a little bit a little bit of an edge a little bit of a pickup if you had a drink the night before you know what i'm talking about yeah it gives you a little bit of an edge uk company um and yeah just just good guys that's it that's all i got to say i just wanted to come on and show you my experience with sneak and how good i think it is compared to the other ones like i said now now energy drink which i was really excited to try um which comes from houndish um and it's just rancid i mean it's all right if you like um tea you know iced tea but it just every flavor of it just it leaves a nasty nasty taste in in your mouth 
And I, I don't want that, you know, like it might be pure natural or whatever, but ugh, no, it's not nice. Not nice. Um, the only other one that I'm going to contemplate maybe getting from Amazon is the G Fuel. Um, but I'm hearing from resources that it's, again, it doesn't taste as good as Sneak. Um, so I'd like to get a taster pack of G Fuel, but I can't because I don't think they do one in the UK. A taster pack that is. You have to buy a tub, etc. Um, I think I'm probably like most of you guys doing a lot of research on this stuff as well. Um, Sneak seems to be coming up trumps lately, especially the way it's tasting, and especially since they have brought in this bad boy, the old sour apple. It's not sour, guys. It's not sour one bit. So don't worry about it being that, because that's that was my concern. I didn't want a tangy, soury taste in my mouth. <laughs> it's amazing. It, it's one of their best flavors. Um, I, I'd recommend trying sour apple. I'd also recommend trying the cherry. The blue raspberry. On one of the original ones, the stealth. The stealth is probably most common to monster energy drink. If you like the monster energy drink, that's what that one tastes like. Blue raspberry tastes a bit like bubblegum, the blue bubblegum flavours we used to get. Um, Purple Storm, Purple Storm, that tastes a bit like um, those purple sweets you used to get as a kid in them little packets. Um, I can't remember what they, they were called, but um, yeah, that's what they taste like. Tropicilla is a bit like, you know, pineapple-y sort of flavour, you know, you know, your classic tropical flavour. Um, what other ones was there mm, oh, that I've tried? I'm trying to think of ones I've tried. Oh, strawberry watermelon. That that mm, that one's okay. It's refreshing. I'd say that one is, but I wouldn't be drinking that one. I, I didn't didn't like that one too much. It had it definitely take. You can definitely taste the watermelon in it. You know that watermelon sort of flavour. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be trying that one. Um, personally but yeah those are my personal favorites like I said I'd probably go for sour apple and the blue raspberry and I probably debate whether or not I'd be getting cherry It'd be cherry and apple I think um, those are my new favorites but anyway like I said I'm rambling on here too much about sneak and how good it is if you like it you need an energy drink and you want to try it out guys hop over to the shop get some sneak, use their discount codes, get a shaker and get going. Great stuff. Thank you ever so much for anyone watching and subscribing. I appreciate the love and the support. Like I said, I am literally just an average guy making videos, reviewing stuff, playing Destiny. That's it. Thank you very much for anyone who subscribed. Until next time, take care everyone.